Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to get ourselves into trouble with our Sony A7 footage and then we're going to find out how to fix it. Now, um, the premise for all this video, this is going to be a quick advanced video, so um, I'm pre-assuming that you've seen my previous tutorials, which are basically all about how to grade with as, making as little adjustments as possible for your Sony A7 III. This gives you two things. It allows you to make money with it because it doesn't require days and days of post and you don't overstretch your poor 8-bit Sony. So you kind of get two really good things in one and you also get a lot better light. So I do recommend that you watch the previous tutorials with my custom picture settings that give you the perfect skin and all that. But this is not the case today. So check this out guys. Uh, I was at a photo shoot today and I'm gonna have to do uh, edit a uh, fashion video and color grade it. Now this video was not recorded using my uh, custom picture profile settings. And it was recorded partially in S-Log, as we can see, and some of the clips weren't even recorded in S-Log. So it's going to be a lot of uh, fun, I guess, to grade this. But in the meantime, um, I want to go to a question which was uh, very clever. Here's the question, it's from it's Danny FTW, and he said, Thanks, my only concern with the temperature is that it changes the entire footage, i.e. it might make white walls appear warmer or cooler when you might not want this. Whereas using colors, you can dial into specific colors that need change. What are your thoughts? That's a great question, Danny, and uh, we're going to address it right now. Okay, guys, so now we're back in DaVinci, and I am grading an S-Log footage. So, again, we're going to do this with as minimum adjustments as we possibly can. So let's get cracking, and let's get ourselves into trouble. Super easy. Uh, we're going to let DaVinci take care of business for us. So whatever you, your input color spaces, tell Da Vinci that's what you're doing. Um, and your, whatever your output, tell Da Vinci what you want as your output. And that's already going to do a really good job. It's going to stop you from having to overstretch your image. So that's already gone a huge way. Thank you, Da Vinci. We'll call this uh, node uh, color transform. So this is the CT. So that took care of our log. Uh, now we can uh, do a little bit of uh, adjustments. Let's take a look at our waveform, okay? And the only thing we're going to do with this is we're going to increase the contrast a little bit. So let's just dial that up right there. And the pivot, we're also going to bring it, dial this up, look before, after, and it sort of zones in on the zones that you're acting, okay? Your pivot is controls your contrast and it refines it. So I'm already pretty happy with this image, okay? So that was my contrast. Uh, saturation, I'm probably not going to do. Uh, even in my contrast, I'm just gonna go back in here and, well, okay, let's just put the log tune here, okay? So let's put here log tune or exposure. Let's make call it exposure, because the only thing I'm really going to do here is use my uh, shadows in my log wheels to crank up these shadows down a little bit more. So I'm just going to do that and it's going to add just that little bit more drama without clipping. Let's reel it back in. And if we want, uh, just give it a little bit of a low soft. It's nice to round them off. Okay, so I'm done with everything. I'm happy with my signal. I'm almost done. And now we're going to get ourselves into trouble. Let's use my run and gun technique of temperature and tint and see what happens. Let's dial into a section there of the face with our power window, get your vector scope out, turn your highlights on, and here we go, guys. This is quite a bit off, okay? Um, we're gonna have to stretch this a long way and look at what's going to happen when we do that. Let's play with temperature and tint, so let's call this node temperature and tint, TNT, and let's fix the white balance as we would normally do it if we were using my picture profile. So we'll go with the tint, and now we get a little bit of help from our friends with our temp. Let's park it somewhere around there. For now, I've got perfect skin. Great. But look what's happened to the wall. And this was what Danny was trying to say. It's, yes, it's okay when you're running and gunning with small differences, but when it's a fashion shoot, when it's something where the colors and the design is going to really care about, let's take a look at this a bit more closely. Get your qualifier out and get your RGB values out and start taking a look at this. This white wall that was supposed to be white, look at these values, guys. They are way off the mark. 
They're nowhere near. They're completely blue. Why? Because our temperature and tint went too far. We, we, we had to move this. But remember with ours, when we do with my custom picture profile, this usually goes to 50, 60. This usually goes to three or five tops. Look how much we've had to stretch the temperature and tint and look what it's done to that wall. That's not so good. So in that case, let's do something else instead. The way we would fix this, if we wanted to maintain these white walls and fix his face at the same time. So let's take a look at the wall now without. Again, it's completely off. Now, I could try to do a white balance, an automatic white balance here. And it's a lot better. Look here, 199, 199, 201. That, that's done a pretty good job. I could even use that as an anchor to start. So, but look what it's already done to my temperature and tint. When I did the auto white balance, it obviously the temperature and tint. So let's reset that. Let's not do that. Let's do something else. Let's select a portion of the skin. Okay. And here we go. There's the skin. It's way off. Now, before we fix the skin, let's fix the white balance first. Check this out. Grab the same portion and drag it to your white wall. Look at your vector scope now. Your vector scope is completely off. If this was supposed to be white, there would be no hue. So this dot would be bang in the center. Right now, it's in the cyan and the blue world. We have to bring this back. Now, the easiest way to bring this back is with temperature and tint. You guessed it. So watch this. Actually, there's another easy way, but let's just do it this way. Use the tint to align it, making as few adjustments possible, and use the temp to bring it in. So now I've brought it in, and now I'm going to use the tint to displace it, and I've got it bang on the center, guys. So now I've got perfect white balance. Now let's take a look at my skin. Well, my skin's not quite there yet. I've got perfect white, that's great, but the skin isn't perfect. It's tending towards typical S-log towards the green. So in this case, because I want to affect this portion of the skin only, and I don't want it to affect this wall that needs to remain white, as does his clothing, where the white represents and where the colors truly lie with a perfect white balance, I need to maintain that white balance. So the only way I'm going to change this is with my log wheels. Log wheels in the midterms, which is where this guy is living. And I'm going to kind of do the same as temperature and tint. I'm going to move away from the green and into the magenta. Watch this. Boom. How's that, guys? Perfect skin. Great. Let's take a look at our wall. Ah, look, it hasn't changed. So now we've got perfect skin and our wall stayed white. So that was a great little um, caveat in our tutorial. Uh, this is going to be called log skin. And we did our skin not only by adjusting the temperature and tint, we took care of that by taking care of the white, made sure that the white was white. Once the white was white, we used our log wheels with as minimal adjustments possible in, in the mid-tone region, tilting away from the green. That got us our perfect skin. And that retains, look at the qualifier, 198, 198, 200. That's white. So that's white. The skin is good. And now we can do the final uh, few grades and we can be done with this image. But this is the way you do it when you want to keep the walls white and you have a little problem with the skin. Hope you like it.